CCTV Camera World is proud to provide support for products purchased from our website. If you purchased your product from another vendor, please contact the vendor you purchased from for further assistance. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to manually pair an Avalonix wireless security camera to an Avalonix wireless NVR. These are Wi-Fi devices, a Wi-Fi camera and a Wi-Fi NVR. All the steps I show you, if you're purchasing a camera system from us with, let's say, two, four, or six cameras, and you plan to have it that way, we'll have these cameras configured using the steps we outlined in this video. So this video is really for people who are trying to maybe add another camera using our instructions that are within this tutorial, or they're resetting their NVR and trying to reconnect it, or trying to troubleshoot it for some reason. But doing the methods that we have outlined in this video, you get a basically a manual connection established from the camera to the Wi-Fi radio of the NVR. And then every time you turn it off, on or off the camera or the NVR, it'll automatically reconnect. So let's begin with this tutorial and show you how to get video from your Avalonix Wi-Fi security camera on your Avalonix Wi-Fi NVR. The first thing is your camera, if you had it outside, it should have its power adapter enclosed in a weatherproof junction box or in an enclosed area protected from water. And this pigtail should also be protected with a junction box. We sell junction boxes for our wireless series cameras as well. Please make sure this connection and that adapter are always protected from water. Now bring the camera inside, have it put on a surge suppressor like this. And the first thing you're gonna do is take a network cable, connect it into the RJ45 connection on the camera and plug it into your router. In my case, I have a switch. You can also use a regular switch. PoE is not needed as the cameras are not PoE. They're simply 12 volt DC and they do have a wired ethernet connection for backup in case you wanted to use it over your network or get into its web settings to reconnect it to your NVR. Now that I've shown you how to connect it to your network, let's show you how to get into the camera's web interface and connect it manually to the NVR. If we go on the NVR screen, so I'm gonna use a mouse and I have a monitor connected to the HDMI ports on the back of the NVR. I can go into the NVR settings by right-clicking on my mouse and going into main menu. It will ask you to enter in your password. I'm gonna show you a closer view of this display now so you can see it better. Under network and then Wi-Fi AP, you can actually see your SSID. That's the name of the Wi-Fi connection that's being broadcasted by the NVR. Please don't hit hide SSID, otherwise you won't be able to follow this guide. Leave all this alone. And this is a password that is for this NVR's AP. You may wanna take a picture of it when you scroll over it so you know what the password is because you're gonna need that to connect the camera to the NVR manually. And this is the SSID. Please don't change these, otherwise your other cameras that are automatically connected will drop. So what we're gonna do is go into the camera's web settings and attach it manually to this AP. Another way for you to see and check whether your Wi-Fi radio on your NVR is working is you go into the settings on your phone and you search for nearby Wi-Fi. My Wi-Fi radio is showing up right there and I'm getting full bars on it. You can actually use your phone as a gauge to, to see how strong the Wi-Fi radio is from the NVR in your application by walking over to the areas where you plan to put wireless cameras and see how many bars you're getting. So this is someone else's Wi-Fi connection that has uh, only two bars. Here, this has three bars. So that is a strong connection because I'm right in front of it. So that will give you an idea of whether wherever you plan on putting the cameras is a good location or not. In my case, I'm also using this to make sure the radio on the NVR is working. So what did I do? I went in the NVR settings. First, I double checked what the SSID is on the broadcast Wi-Fi signal from this NVR. And I double checked, my phone can see it too. The only reason your phone would not be able to see it is if you had hide SSID checked, that will hide it from scanning from your phone. 
Now let's get into the camera and show you how to access its web settings. So again, what we're doing is the camera is connected to my switch, my local network. Now I'm gonna use my Windows PC to find the camera and connect to it. I'm gonna jump on my Windows PC now and show you the rest of the stuff that it needs to be done. So my camera is connected to my network now using my switch. I have both the power and the network cable connected. And I see a green light. So what I'm going to do is walk over to my computer. The first thing you'll need is our config tool. The config tool helps you find the camera on your local network. You can hit the recycle button on the top to search for the camera on your network. So the camera is set to DHCP. Once you have the config tool open, if you hit the recycle button, you'll find the devices from us on your network. This is the Wi-Fi and VR, and this happens to be that Wi-Fi camera that I want to configure manually. If this works on your network, this IP address suits your network, you can leave it alone and open it by clicking the web button. If it doesn't, you'll need to reconfigure the camera to a suitable IP address on your wired network. We suggest having a 192.168.1.1 network. Log into the camera using the username as admin and the password as 10ITXYH. Once I am inside the camera's web interface, click on settings, go to network and Wi-Fi, and you can hit search SSID to see if the camera can detect the SSID of the NVR. If you cannot find the SSID for the NVR, the best thing is to walk over back to the NVR and go to this Wi-Fi AP page under network, check off Wi-Fi, and hit apply. Give a few seconds for this cursor to return to normal. Click back on Wi-Fi and hit apply to re-enable the Wi-Fi radio in your NVR. So the NVR has certain boot up procedures that if it doesn't find client devices to connect or Wi-Fi, it turns off the Wi-Fi radio. Now that we have the NVR's Wi-Fi back on, let's hit search SSID and see if it can, the camera can see the NVR. And it does right here. Click on the name of the Wi-Fi connection and then put in the password. I saved in the password for my NVR's Network information here, I'm going to paste it in, make sure it's all there, hit connection, and then wait for this to reconnect. And it says it's connected and it has an IP address of 22.1.1.100. So technically the NVR should be able to see it now. We go back onto the NVR, and what we want to do is, you can actually see it right here. The image is appearing from the camera, and I can see my hand waving. Now what I'm going to do is disconnect the network cable and watch for this LED on the camera as well to see if it stays green or not. You can confirm the camera is still connected either of two ways, using that green LED or if you're getting video transmission from the camera. Uh, I'm just waving my hand now, and it's working. So the NVR is now communicating to this camera wirelessly. The other thing you want to do is go back into the NVR's menus, click on camera, and make sure there's an entry there. So now this camera is synced to this NVR manually. We have a successful connection between the two devices. The last thing to do is turn the camera off by just disconnecting power to it. I'm going to disconnect power from the surge suppressor and wait for about 10 seconds. My 10 seconds have elapsed. I'm going to reconnect power to the camera and look at this status LED to see if the camera reconnects to the NVR or I'll look for video in the NVR, or I'll look for the connection status here. Once the camera disconnects, maybe the status doesn't get updated automatically, go back into camera, 
and then keep looking for it. It's still giving me a green status. So I'm going to keep looking on the camera. While it's doing that, I'm going to go back to the main menu and look for the camera to reconnect on the grid screen to see if it gets video from it. My camera is now giving me a green LED while it's connected wirelessly. So give it a few more seconds and you should get video popping back on on the NVR. So it took about five to 10 seconds and it reconnected successfully. That's how you manually reconnect your cameras to your NVR. So in this video, what we showed you was how to reconnect your Avalonix premium series Wi-Fi camera and NVR to each other by manually going to the camera's web settings and assigning it to the NVR's Wi-Fi network. So if you have your camera connected and it's all working, there's another test I wanna show before I end the video. I'm gonna delete my camera. So a lot of customers ask, hey, what if um, you know, there's a power outage or I delete some entries, will it auto connect? So if you manually configure the cameras to connect to the 2.4 gigahertz radio on the NVR and they're using the same channel that's visible to each other, then all you need to do is delete the entry, turn off the NVR, you can just pull the power plug on it, pull the power plug on the camera. Wait about five seconds, and then what you can do is power on the NVR again. So I'm gonna have a little help powering the NVR, and then you wait for the NVR to turn back on. And the key here is, keep in mind this is acting like a router too, where it acts as a router for the wireless cameras. You're gonna want the NVR to fully boot up and have its internal radio activated. So I'm waiting for that. I'm gonna speed the video up. It took about 30 seconds for my NVR to boot up. I don't have a hard drive in it, so that's why it's a little faster maybe than yours. Now the NVR is on. I'm gonna go back to my camera and I'm gonna connect the power connection to it. And then I'm going to right click, go to main menu and log in the, using the default graphical password that's on the NVR, go to camera and then I'm going to wait for it to auto-populate. So if your camera is not connecting for some reason, you go to main menu, you go to network, and you go under Wi-Fi AP, and you change these channel to something else, like eight, and then hit apply. Then you go into camera settings and you wait for the auto connect feature to work where now the camera talks to the NVR and it connects automatically and you'll get this green status with an entry for the camera just like I did here while you were watching. And then the video will pop up from the camera. You can do this for multiple cameras once you manually pair them. Hopefully you found this video useful. Thanks for watching. If you're watching on YouTube, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe.